No, Dilo doesn't know. Marion, what's a pledge? So it's basically like a promise. It's like a, it's like an agreement. It's like, it's like it's a promise. promise. It's a promise. Yeah. It's like the old people version of saying promise. Kind of. So like Abdullah uh, could say, like for example, I pledge responsibility. You pledge to kiss your dad. No. <laughs> South or Dubai, in association with Gifters, your halal family friendly restaurant. <laughs> Your name? Abdurrahman. Salam al Asri. Today I'm Dubai. Salam al Asri. Today I'm Dubai. Nail him. Mariam. Today I'm Dubai. Abdullah al Azhar. So everybody, we were talking about the 11th year, the camper vans, the year. Yes, the year the Prophet Allah Salam. Yes, the Prophet Allah Salam. Yes, and they went from yes. Isra. How I thought yes. she was and Harun. Yes. And, and what year and, was and, that? What year was that? The the year. What number? What year prophethood? The tenth. Not to the eleventh. The eleventh year. And now we're on to the twelfth year. Where now in the. Was no, this was the the story we talked about that happened with the perfume. Remember? Now in so the twelfth year, delay. in the twelfth year, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There was something known as the Pledge of Aqaba. Abdullah, what's a pledge? Yeah, what's a pledge? Do you know? Ask Abdullah. No, Abdullah doesn't know. Mariam, what's a pledge? So it's basically like a promise. It's like, a, it's like an agreement. Yeah. It's like the old people version of saying promise. Kind of. So like Abdullah I, could say, like for example, I pledge responsibility. You pledge to kiss your dad. No! <laughs> I don't! All right. I pledge so, like to kiss your dad. Yeah! <laughs> I haven't seen you kiss your dad in 10, 20, 30 years. You've not been alive for 30 years. That's probably why. I'm 11. <laughs> exactly. So okay. I haven't ever seen So you. everybody. There were 12 people who pledged, who agreed to become Muslim in the 12th year after prophethood. And they were from Medina. Medina. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, it was a Muslim. It was a city. It was a city. Now, Mariam, what's the opposite of lying? Truthing. What's the... <laughs> what's truthing? Dad. Telling the truth, Dad. right? Dad. Yes, Adam. There's, there's a person called a juice. There is a prophet called a juice, yes. There's a person called Idris. Okay, where's that person? A cousin. Oh, your cousin. Okay, well done. Now, they were, the pledge that the Muslims did was that they were going to worship Allah, those 12 people, and not be bad and always help others and not lie. Idris, the Adam's cousin. Oh, the Prophet. The Prophet, no, he was a man. But let me ask you a question, Abdurrahman. If you are Christian or let's say you follow a different religion, can you become Muslim? Make sure you click the subscribe button now. Yes, you can be Christian, Muslim, Christian. Can you change again, from Muslim, Muslim to Christian? Yes, so you can. Huh? Can you change from Muslim? Anyone can change, but at the time. Yes, but if you want to go to Jannah. Same. Mom. <laughs> yes. Now, Adam, let me ask you a question. Where does Hajj take place? In Medina or Mecca? What do you think? Mecca. Mecca. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. So what happened the following year was, remember we said people used to come for Hajj uh, to visit Mecca? Yeah. There were 70 people that came and then they became Muslim, or 70 of the people that came became Muslim. So initially there was 12, and the next year there was how many? 70. 70 from Medina. 82, 82. So 82 in Medina. So they came from Medina to Mecca, and they became Muslim. people were Muslim. Good. Now Shaitan became very worried. So Shaitan was so worried, he shouted out that there are people that are gathering to fight around you to the Quraysh. 
to the non-Muslims that were there that used to worship idols. So the next morning, the Quraysh went to the camps and they said, yes, the camps where they had in Hajj. Excellent. Excellent. Good surah. Good reciting. Yes. Now, so there were camps when people come. You're just seeing any surah, you know. Okay. Good boy. So, at Hajj time, they would come in camps. What so do they you mean camp? They would, they would like live and stay under tents. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I that's, think that one's so fun. So that's what they would do. Yeah, exactly. And they asked the non-Muslims, was there anybody that became Muslim? But you know what I did? they did? Do you think they lied? Before you go in, make sure to click like now. No, because it's is it allowed to lie, Abdurrahman? No. So they just stayed silent. They didn't lie. And before we continue, let's go to competition time. We're at home with the Azaris. Everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks. Go past the code breaker page, past the sticker page, and past the reward chart until you reach the last page for this particular episode. What you will see there is competition time. I'm going to ask a question, and in your workbooks, you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as fast as you can, and let's have a competition to see if you at home can beat the Ezeris here. You get two points for every correct answer. Question number one, everybody. What is the explanation of the Quran called? Is it number one, tafsir, or number two, tajweed? If you don't know, that's okay, again. When we're explaining the Quran and understanding it, is it called tafsir or is it called tajweed? If you think tafsir, write number one. If you think tajweed, write number two. Tafsir, number one, number one, number one. Adam, what do you think? Tafsir. Number one. Correct. So the correct answer, explanation of the Quran is known as Tafsir. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number two, everybody. What is the miswak? Is it number one, used to clean your ears? Or number two, used to clean your teeth? If you think it's, it's number one to clean your ears or number two to clean your teeth? It's number two to clean your teeth before you pray. So that's why okay. I gave out the answer. So now everybody will know it's number two. Okay. Abdurrahman said number two, Mariam said two, Abdullah, two, Adam, two. So the correct answer is number two, used to clean your teeth. Well done. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number three, everybody. For Maghrib Salah, does the Imam recite aloud or quietly? For Maghrib, does he recite aloud or quietly? If you think aloud, write number one. If you think quiet, write number two. Abdurrahman said quiet. Mariam, what do you think? She said number? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so number one for aloud, number two for quiet. What did you think? Abdurrahman said number two. two. Adam said two. Said Abdullah said loud. Aloud. Mariam said aloud. So the correct answer is number I one. Told her it was okay, working head. together. <laughs> correct answer is number one. Maghrib is recited aloud. Well done. Everyone got the correct answer. Mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He sent those Muslims, the new Muslims, back to Medina, okay? And now there were only a few Muslims left in Mecca. Twelve! More than that. But let me ask you a question, Dula. You said 18. a few. A few. What is the sharpest thing you know? Oh, I know this one. The sharpest thing I know. You know one of those knives that mum uses? No, one of those knives that you use to cut a cake. So a sharp knife. So the Quraysh. Can I go on. That yes, go. On. So when you cut, freshly cut your nails, yeah. and then yesterday you're playing with your sequins, and then the sequin goes up your freshly oh, cut that nails, is painful, yeah. and it starts bleeding. That is sharp. You're true. Agreed. But you know what the Quraysh did? They said, "Everybody get a sword. Every man from a tribe, and we will go and we will kill the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam." No, Prophet Muhammad wasn't. And you know what? They, do you know why they said that, Abdullah? Because. 
Because Why did they want one person from every tribe? Because they wanted to kill him. No, but why one person from every tribe? Why not just one person kill him? Don't forget your Asri Rex from the Asri's.com. Or try and kill because the Because they need people because for backup. Because no, no because. You have to watch me <laughs> because it would mean that they couldn't blame one tribe. They would have to blame everybody, and they can't blame everybody. So you know what happened next? The angel Jibreel came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the angel Jibreel said that they're going to plan to kill you. You need to leave Mecca and go to Medina. Medina and, and meet the seventy. The other Muslims that were there. Good, not seventy hundred, but the other ones that were there. But you Abdullah. Said it was seventy thousand. No, I didn't. That was 70,000 was for when the angels go to Beit al Ma'mur. Remember? Good. <laughs> you don't remember. You have to watch the episode again. You were like, yes. I want and I was like, no. Like, no. <laughs> so I want you to act this out, and everybody at home, try and guess what Abdullah's going to act. He's going to act this word. Should I do that one? Maybe I was looking. I saw Okay. What's Abdullah Wait! doing? What's he doing? No, specifically, what is he doing? Uh, if you show the camera, Abdullah, look at the camera. What's he doing? What do you think the word is? Ruku. Ruku, well done. Okay, come back. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the reason I mentioned Ruku is because he came to the house of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq around Dhuhr time. And it was very hot. And he was doing Ruku. It wasn't, but it was around Dhuhr time, around prayer time. And he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you know what he said, Mariam? He said that I've been told now that we can move to Medina. Medina. And so, and you know what, Abu Bakr? He said to Abu Bakr, he said, I want you to come with me. And Abu Bakr was so happy, he started crying. Now, I want to cry. You, you can cry, don't worry. I <laughs> so, Abu, you want to cry as well? So, Abu Bakr prepared two camels and they started going to Jannah. Not Jannah, but where did they go Medina. to? Medina. Medina, very good. No, he didn't. But to find out what happens next, stay tuned. Everyone say Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum. Like, subscribe now. Click like. Don't forget your workbooks and your Azhari dinosaurs. From the Azhari.com. We'll see you soon, inshallah.